Sapiosexuality is the reason you are still single and probably broke. Sit tight because you are about to learn a lot about the freaky side of your personality, a bunch of new and shocking truths about yourself, your sexual preferences, and why intelligence is what attracts you the most in the opposite sex than money and beauty combined. Why you lose interest in someone the moment you find out they are not as intelligent as you thought, and why you love to compliment the person you are sexually attracted to as smart, intelligent, or clever. While waiting on you to hit the like button, it will be nice to address the elephant in the room. Who is a sapiosexual? A sapiosexual is someone who finds high levels of intelligence sexually attractive and arousing. Someone who is turned on by how intelligent their partner is. Handsomeness, beauty, social status, and financial stability do not have much influence on their choice of a mate, like intelligence. To them so long as you are intelligent, your physique and bank statement have nothing to do with how they feel about you. Class and financial stability are considered an added bonus. This definition on its own does not suffice to clearly categorize a person as a sapiosexual, as many people are attracted to intelligent people. So take two minutes to complete this sexuality test in order to better type yourself. Answer yes or no to each question, and by the end, you will be able to tell if you are a sapiosexual or not. 1. Do you enjoy having your opinion and position challenged by the opposite sex? 2. Have you lost interest in someone after noticing they were not as intelligent as you thought they were? 3. Is intelligence the first criteria that comes to mind each time you think of a potential mate for a long-term relationship? Do you gradually fall in love with someone as you get to know them better or right away as you set eyes on them? What do you notice first when someone is talking to you for the first time? Do you notice how they speak or how they look? Is wealth and physical attractiveness your top criteria for a potential partner? Do you appreciate good looks, but intelligence is the thing that keeps you around? Are you attracted to someone that is significantly less intelligent than you are? Can a physically attractive person with an average level of intelligence turn you on? Which of these compliments are you most likely to compliment your love interest with? You are the most beautiful person I have ever met. Or you are the most intelligent person I have ever met. Does intelligence have anything to do with the people you choose to associate with? Can you sacrifice sex over an intimate, yet meaningful discussion in a cozy room, or vice versa? If you answered yes to 80% of the questions, you are a sapiosexual. This two-minute quiz was meant to serve as an eye-opener into the seemingly skewed brains of sapiosexuals when it comes to selecting who to love and who to be friends with, and also to paint a broader picture as to why you are still single why your criteria for love seems weird to others, why it seems as if only dull people are coming your way. Before we address the second elephant in the room, let it be known to all that being single is not a crime, nor is it bad to choose to be single. But being single because of sexuality is because of the following reasons. 1. You intimidate people with your high level of intelligence. The one thing with sapiosexuals is that you guys don't hide how you feel about less intelligent people. Normally on average, you guys are more intelligent than most people. Setting intelligence as your top most criterion for love intimidates the people around you and make them feel inferior. Nobody wants to feel inferior or be treated as one. Lower your measure of intelligence and stop comparing people to yourself and start seeing people for who they are. The truth is that you might stay single forever if you continue to go down that rabbit hole because you may never find someone that will check all the boxes of your ideal partner. Intelligence is relative and there are many forms of intelligence. You are gifted and well endowed with both forms of intelligence, but not everyone is like you. Some people are gifted in practical intelligence, some in abstract intelligence, and others in emotional intelligence, an intelligence you are sometimes lacking in. 2. You overrate intelligence. Intelligence is not the only quality that makes a person attractive and sexually appealing. Quirks, imperfections, and abnormalities also make people beautiful. If you are to like someone, like them for who they are and not solely on the basis of what they can understand and what they cannot. There is more to love and being attractive than the perceived value of love that comes from how intelligent someone is. 3. Another reason why you are still single as a sapiosexual could be because you are limiting yourself by relying more on the less emotional side of your brain while ignoring and suppressing your emotional side, the place where love actually comes from. 
Maybe you are preventing yourself from finding love by setting very high standards for yourself making it difficult for you to settle for someone less intelligent than you. Or maybe you are just afraid of love or letting someone in because over time they will lose interest, get bored, leave, and you will be left alone to go through the same experience again. Although it is a good thing to seek a partner that will be mentally able to understand your complexity. Shutting down your brain for a second, trusting your guts, and allowing your heart to decide when it comes to matters of the heart can prove helpful in finding someone you will love forever. So who are you? Let us know in the comments section.